Hello YouTube, I came across something interesting that relates to over unity. So this here is a Bitori transformer. So here we here we go. It's a Bitori transformer. So you have two secondaries and one primary. And this doesn't work. So if you have two um, uh, ferric rings pushed together, it won't work because uh, you, you need the path for the flux to travel. See, when your secondary is under load, your two secondaries, your, in, your input power will actually have to uh, be lower, it will actually drop. So, because um, the flux ends up supporting each other from the secondary. So again, the two rings doesn't work. So this looks really busy, um, and I'll show you, I'll show you what it looks like. Let's see. So here we go, here's the schematic. So I'm using the 2N5630 transistor. So um, in the middle I have two, uh, two coils wound um, clockwise and uh, uh, one is 30 gauge wire and one is 23 gauge wire. And then um, on the outside I have um, uh, 23 gauge wire wound counterclockwise. In this uh, particular instance, the winding, uh, which direction you wind, it shouldn't uh, shouldn't matter, because you uh, and um, so you, we have two secondaries here, and we have um, and uh, you know two two layers in the middle. Uh, input power again is 5.9 volts at 400 milliamps, and um, this is basically a glorified a uh, jewel thief that I constructed, but it's just to show uh, that your um, Secondaries end up supporting each other, and it's actually more efficient when they're both under uh, under load. So okay, so here we go. So right now, um, I have this light bulb connected to the base and the collector. So um, like in the schematic, see, the end of the base goes there, the collector. So, but see what happens. Uh, the, these light bulbs are lit very dimly, as you can see. There are uh, three watt light bulbs, I believe. So, see what happens when I disconnect uh, the power source. So, I untwisted this uh, light bulb, and now these uh, light bulbs from the secondary are, are lit very brightly. See. Notice what happens when I unscrew one of them. Nothing, as you can see, doesn't the other light bulb doesn't get any brighter. So, um, so I think it's very interesting. I tried playing around with the circuits, and um, uh, how I, how I have it constructed. Also, I have these U-shaped uh, ferric cores. So there's actually four of them in there. See, there's one right there, and there, then there, there's one, there's one right there. And what I did was I uh, basically 3D printed these spools, and um, I wound them, and then uh, the whole thing is held together with with a zip tie. And these little pieces are also 3D printed tubes that slide onto the ferric uh, toroids. So, um, anyways, I just wanted to share this. I, th I think it's... Uh, it's pretty cool. To further demonstrate the effect, I decided to use uh, the voltmeter. So uh, I end up unscrewing these uh, secondary light bulbs. So there's no load in the secondary at all. And uh, we're going to see the voltage. So okay. So the leads are connected across across here, across the terminal of this uh, light bulb. So we have 37.5 volts, right? The secondaries are dim; they're not connected. So okay, let, let's let's connect them. Okay. So this one's lit a little bit. Okay. Let's look at uh, the voltage. See, it hasn't dropped. It hasn't changed at all. Okay. So again, I, I apologize, to you guys, for the uh, annoying sound. That's the metal, the transformer that's making the the noise. So okay, let's unscrew this one. 
Okay, our voltage uh, spiked to 38.2 volts with two secondary slit. So with, with just one light bulb, we had uh, the voltage was 37 volts. See again. See. Anyway, and um, the core, the um, U, the U-shaped cores that I used was just like this one. This one I used for for another experiment. I'm just demonstrating what it looks like. See, it's a bunch of these over here, like this. And there's actually four of them. And it has a little groove where you can put the zip uh, the zip tie to to hold it. Anyway, hope you guys like this video.